Okay, here we are. So the voltage multiplier. Great. Let us carry on to explain this part of the device because it's not exactly as he has shown. Uh, we want to do this, but because this is double duty, we actually have two phases here. We can do that doubled, okay? So it's not exactly as shown, but uh, there are many ways that will work. First, you have to understand the concept here. These capacitors that are in here, okay? So these two capacitors that are in series, ours are not. Ours are in parallel, okay? And we are not center tapped right now. But um, I, I can configure this a couple different ways. So just know that our capacitor here, our resonator cap, is parallel. 10 microfarads. So that is where this coil is. So I can put probably both of these center tap together on the low side, right? And then we can have this with a cap and a cap of 10 microfarads and 10 microfarads. Okay, so and then we got our zero point here. So our half voltage, right? What we are seeing currently in the caps. Yeah, what we are seeing currently in the caps because we are not auto transformed here. Okay, so then it goes diode. So this is the decoupling that is happening. So this, it goes diode cap, diode cap, the whole, you see the pattern, right? Up to a positive. And then the negative will be the midpoint of the two, right? So... What this is, is that cap is 9 microfarads DC. Okay, high frequency. 9 microfarads, 10. We, these are 10 microfarad resonators, two of them. So every cap you see is 10 microfarads DC. And, and he go. <laughs> every half cycle, he go. Okay, and then on your um, H bridge, after you get this to whatever fucking voltage you want, because this is a decoupling multiplier. He's going to decouple from the resonant supply because of all the fucking diodes. So, uh, by the time you get him to whatever voltage you want your H-bridge to run on, say 900 volts or 1,000 volts in that range, you're golden, man. <laughs> you put this into your link cap at 900 volts. You put your buck to reduce it down to, say, maybe 750, and then you can control your amps and you have a cushion. And um, every time, it's just going to dance, but DC. So every time giving you DC 9 microfarads every half cycle, you could synchronize the H bridge with a 9 microfarad supply. Tick, 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 tick. Just by taking the running frequency of this at open circuit, and setting your Arduino or whatever controller, your signal generator, whatever you are going to put on the DRSSTC controller. And that, if you synchronize that with this, you're going to have some wicked ass results. And the fucking thing will be run on nothing. Right? So, okay, that's in the next board later on. Right now, um, both. Of these devices that are self-running, the very first models have been sold. So they are going to get mounted on this board as you see it. I'm printing the parts to mount the cap because I have to put the cap. I don't even really want to sell just the coil because the odds of somebody else attaining the exact same results is going to be very difficult unless you use exactly the same components. Okay? The meter, same meter, same buck, same cap, everything. Or it's not going to be the same result. Even if the wires are wound the same, all that shit. And, and I haven't told anybody or very few the core. So, like, the odds of selling just one piece and you getting it working to your satisfaction are going to be slim. So, uh, 3000 bucks for this one and 3500 for the other one because the amount of labor in the coil on the other one, 6,000 feet, 
but it has much um, different advantages, both of them do. These could be resonators. They don't have to be everything I've gone through here. This is like the lazy way, right? But with the DC extraction and all that link cap and that, that's pretty lazy. It's pretty minimal. Um, we can do magnetic extraction or uh, decoupling. This is electric decoupling that we're doing here. But And with the multiplier is very cool. That's very over unity, if you know anything about those. And um, anyways, we can do magnetic decoupling. And that gives tremendous results as well. And both of those can run amp stick, fly back, any kind of transformer you want. You're just going to have to work it out, right? And we're not there yet because we are right here. So I'm going to try and boost a couple more turnings on each one. Uh, the voltage up to 100 volts a piece. And then we uh, multiply it, you know, like seven times. Seven stage multiplier or whatever, seven times voltage. But those caps, I'll have to find. They have to be high frequency and uh, at least 100 volts DC at uh, 10 microfarads each. And then they're just going to dance on every half cycle. Boom. Right, right, on zero watts. And then that is going to fill your 9 microfarads domper caps for half, for full bridge. This side, that side, this side, that side. Da, 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 da. Same frequency as they be dancing at. Have a nice day.